Citations viewers, my name is Game Name, and welcome back to another one of Game Name Reacts. So I, for one, am extremely excited for Elden Ring because I'm a huge fan of the From Software games, and I know George R. R. Martin is on this video game, which means the story writing is going to be pretty exceptional, maybe even more. But we shall see because, uh, you know, you never know what a game is going to be like until you actually watch some more of the core gameplay, which we have here for you today, which I don't think we will be disappointed. So without further ado, let's watch the gameplay overview trailer for Elden Ring. Peggy 16. That was pretty loud. Hello, everyone. Hello. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. No problem. In this video, we'll show some footage of our new action RPG, Elden Ring. We hope it helps to convey a little of this title's mood and gameplay. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Wow. Yeah, this was one Elden from the one trailer. Is set here, in the lands between. One second, bud. This is a site of grace, acting as a place of rest for the player. Ah, the bonfire. There it is. Site of grace. Occasionally, Grace will manifest rays of guiding light. <gasps> that is so sick. Of course, we're free to choose whether to follow this guidance or head off to explore in a different direction. This is so pretty. This is so fucking beautiful. Dragon! Well, technically it's a wyvern. But it's still a type of dragon. Nice fucking... Magic arrows. This looks sick. This looks so sick already. The classic rolling. Woo! The heavy attack, two handed. Yeah, the rolling looks pretty sick, too. Stuck inside a cauldron. I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can what see, if he... I'm stuck here. Please. What if he is can the cauldron? Out of this? Put those doubts to rest. I'll be just fine. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. He pulls out the club. He is the cauldron! Ah. Well played, good sir. Well played. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelt the end of me. <laughs> ah. That was amazing. I love that new character. Wow, oh my God, the trees are amazing. They just stick out like a sore thumb and I love it. Oh, the map can prove useful fuck when yeah. The world and is populated by acquiring map fragments. I love that. We can use markers to customize the map such as setting reminders for the location of crafting materials or dangerous enemies. That's really useful. Beacons can also be placed to help with orientation. 
beacons placed on the map appear in the world. That's extremely useful. I love that. And the double jump on your animals is so nice. Oh, that is even cooler. Spirit springs can be used while on horseback to launch high into the air. This, this is sick. stress-free traversal of areas with a great deal of verticality. I love how more open world it is. It's so much more open world. This, that double jump is going to be so useful for your spirit. You don't have to worry about um, where exactly your animal is. You can just summon them at any time. The carriage over there is carrying treasure. An opportunity too good to pass up. We'll prepare for combat with some item crafting using materials found in the world. Oh man, being super sneaky. That's a hell of an arrow. And you get the arrow back. That is a fucking sick ass sword. Enemy stance can be broken with heavy strikes, such as when attacking from above. Oh my god. I'm obsessed. A variety of unique attacks can also be interchanged between I'm weapons. obsessed. I fucking hate sword uh, shield motherfuckers. The shield motherfuckers are so annoying. In more perilous situations, we can summon spirits to assist us in battle. How is that spirits more perilous? Vary greatly in type, so we look forward to players experimenting. That's cool, though. You can summon spirits. Favorites. That'll be super helpful with like huge mobs, in comparison from when you had to do them yourself before. Online multiplayer can also be enjoyed with players from other worlds, from cooperative to PvP and invasions. Hey! Oh, this is a boss fight. Oh, that enemy, enemy doesn't look too fun. Forest, so we'll use stealth to avoid detection. Before you really couldn't be that stealthy. And I bet you these beasts are incredibly strong too. We've come across a boss guarding this area. We'll take it on with the help of our co-op partner. Oh my god, on horseback too. I can't wait to play the shit out of this game. This game seriously looks so amazing. She's got a dragon hand. That is sick. I think the magic in here looks amazing too. 
It definitely makes me want to go a magic run. I haven't done a magic run at all in any of them, except for maybe have lightning uh, in Dark Souls. That's the only time I ever had any sort of magic. I think I might want to do more of a magic run on this one. Of course, I need a... I would probably do one-handed sword. Sword and shield. Can't just be magic. You could, but... What if you get caught out? You definitely need a backup. Catacombs, caves, mines, and other dungeons can be found while out exploring the world. Yes. Of course, bringing in the uh, skeleton These dungeons boys. Each hold their own secrets, from hidden treasures to fierce bosses. And these are all optional, I would imagine. After you? No, after you, mate. We all in this together. I love them. I love how they're using the emotes a lot more in this trailer than I've ever seen anyone ever use the emotes. Greetings. Greetings. Traveler. From beyond the fog, I am Melina. Who are you, Melina? Pretty. You're definitely very pretty. I offer you an accord. We've reached Stormvale Castle, a large-scale dungeon which connects seamlessly with the surrounding Limgrave region. against taking the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Oh, tr tr try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You'll breach the castle undetected. What do you want out of it, friend? Go through the gates, I'll signal them to open. But of course, I'd advise against it. That's true. You don't want to trust every single motherfucker that comes your way because they you don't know if they're there to hurt you or not. The gates! Open the gates. The main route seems risky, so we'll try entering through a back way. Just a little bit risky, just a smidge. That is so sick. A nice little surprise. Oh, and they, that, that's cool too. They also have the, did you just use blood magic? X 
extra care should be taken when moving through dungeons, as visibility and terrain differ from when in the open. We hope players enjoy getting a feel for the different types of areas and coming up with suitable strategies for each. Ooh! Always check the corners! Always check the corners! Oh, that is an ugly looking motherfucker right there. I love how, like, in-depth this terrain is, too. Like, all of it's pretty interactive. Dungeons are complex and multi-layered, meaning they can be tackled from a number of routes. Ah, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Ah, nice to meet you. Where'd you drop in from? You might have guessed. I'm looking for a little something here in the castle. When I'm not hot footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? Uh, I'm looting. Bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose. That's true. Not exactly a place you'd like to stroll into. tell if someone's tarnished or not right off the bat. I'm sure they'll elaborate that in the game itself. Maybe there's a certain symbol or like aura that everyone can tell whether you are or aren't. In this next boss fight, we challenge one of the demigods, ruler of Stormvale, Godric the Golden. Godric the Golden! I'd like to see what you're all about, Godric. Greater heights. Well. Of course he's got, like, fucking six arms. Oh my god. He's got more than what I thought. like a pretty sick fight this seems like a really sick fight why is he gonna have so many hands they could also serve as distractions too I wonder how many times you can summon the same one the same spirit. Or I wonder if that sp once that spirit dies, that spirit dies. Like you can't use them anymore. There's the dragon hand again. This fight looks awful. <laughs> That fight looked awful to go against. My lord, though, does this game look absolutely fucking fantastic. I seriously cannot wait to play this game because I'm such a huge fan of From Software. 
I think the only game I have left is to play Demon Souls, and if I ever get a uh, PS5, I'm definitely gonna cop that copy so then I can stream it for you guys because playing all those games were absolutely amazing. They were stunning in each and of, of their own way, story-wise, gameplay-wise. It was just, uh, I'm such a huge fan of these type of games, and I hope you guys are too. Let me know in the comments down below what your guys' favorite was. Mine was the original Dark Souls. But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate your time as always. But please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my YouTube, but to my Twitch. You guys know where my YouTube is at. You can find my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegamedame. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.